Canelo Alvarez. They call him Saul. That's actually his real name. But, yo, he just straight took out Caleb Plant. 11th round TKO Saturday night. It was a thing of beauty to watch if you were a fan of the sport of boxing. Adam, what did you see in that fight? Well, Canelo Alvarez, I mean, we got to credit this guy with the immense knowledge and just awareness that he has for the game of boxing. He's the best boxer in the world right now, and nobody can tell me different. Canelo Alvarez right now sitting at the record that he's at with the poise that he has in the ring every single fight. And the one blemish is to Floyd Mayweather. Go figure. We could easily be talking about a technically undefeated boxer. I know he's got a couple of draws right now. But when you talk about, you know, a main emphasis point of this fight, Canelo was wasn't afraid to lead forward with the lead foot. He wasn't afraid to kind of show some fakes to Caleb Plant to where Plant had to guess, okay, where is he going to attack me next? Because we've seen Alvarez. He loves to lean forward on that lean foot just to kind of sway away. But when you feel like that energy is coming towards you, your opponent might not necessarily know what's coming for them afterwards. Um, But this was a great fight, you know, two superstars just going back and forth, punch for punch, round after round, until it got about to the sixth or seventh round, I Felt like when Canelo just really locked in, put his head down, got his mind right, and just, you know, separated and started making the gap there to where you knew, yeah, it might have been an 11th round TKO, which was absolutely beautiful, by the way. What an uppercut. What combos there from Canelo. Um, You know, you had that feeling that Canelo was closing in and he was going to take this fight. Um, But, you know, I think he was clearly the aggressor in the fight. And Plant was, you know, going back and forth with him, exchanging some body shots. He did have a nice shot on him to the face. Um, at some point in the match to where you did see Canelo exercise a good chin. But at the end of the day, you could tell that Canelo was going to win this fight. You saw with every body blow, with every lean, with every fake out, that Canelo was taking the advantage here. And, you know, talking about the uppercut that actually, I guess, initiated that knockout in the 11th, when are people going to learn that Canelo has maybe the meanest uppercut in the game right now? I mean, for God's sake, he just broke Billy Joe Saunders' face. Okay, he had to reconstruct his orbital in the last match. Canelo literally said, yeah, I think I broke his face. And Saunders knew right when it happened, you know, that was the, the big blow in his last fight. The, upper, the uppercut in this fight was another major blow for Canelo Alvarez. Um, I love what I'm seeing out of King Canelo right now. I can't wait for whoever's going to step up with him in the ring next. He's the best boxer in the world right now, and nobody can tell me different. Oh, easily the best boxer in the world. I know I had a lot of people saying – that Caleb Plant was the busier fighter. Like, just throwing random punches that aren't landing exactly. does not mean anything. Caleb Canelo Plant was, was getting calculated. stalked around the ring the entire fight. Canelo was moving forward from the beginning. Because, you know, normally he's a slow starter. It usually takes him three or four rounds before he really gets going. By the yep. second round, Canelo was stalking him. And he was destroying his rib cage. I was getting hurt watching it. Like, I started to lose my breath. <laughs> I mean, he landed 53 body blows in his fight, and you could see it. Like, he just started taking a steam out of him. All of those punches Plant was throwing was like, all right, like, you have nothing behind that because he's just been just killing your guts. You have no more insides left. Probably broke your ribs, bruised the kidney. He did something to you that we don't even know about just yet. But, uh, I mean, even even when you just look at the CompuBox stats. Got a ruptured spleen, bro. It was like Caleb threw almost 100 more punches and still landed less. He yep. was just swinging. I mean, Canelo came out, did what he had to do. I mean, he tactically just took that man apart. He, at no yep. point did it ever seem like Canelo was bothered, like he was hurt, or there was any chance that Caleb Plant was going to win that fight. I really was surprised at the scorecards when I saw them. I mean, Canelo was up on all the cards, so he would have gotten a unanimous decision. But he was, wasn't up by much. It was 96-94, 97-93, and 98-92. The 98-92 card, I feel like, is more indicative of what that fight was because Canelo won most of the rounds. For exactly. whichever judge that was that had it 96-94, he must be related to Caleb Plant. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that's about. That fight was oh, not Plant that second. close. Like, for real. It doesn't make any sense. Like, that's, that's, you really have to start yeah. questioning the judges when you watch a fight like that. It's like, it's not like Caleb came out and laid down. Canelo's right. just a way better fighter. Yeah. He's and Plant took punches. some big shots in the fight. But when, I mean, when you're talking about the ninth round, the 10th round, the 11th round, like, that's going to be a hard knockout when the time comes. And 
as that fight goes on, you're going to learn to take those shots less and less. Apparently, Plant didn't because Alvarez had a hell of a time with the knockout on the 11th round. So, beautiful fight. I mean, I'd love to see a rematch, honestly. Great fight here. Um, and I'm ready, like I said, whoever steps up next to Canelo, it's going to be a hell of a fight yet again for the best boxer in the world. I mean, now he's unified the whole division. He's got all four belts. <laughs> so I don't even I don't even know if he'll give him a rematch. Like Canelo is like he's looking for more. Right. He's looking to break records. I mean, what Manny Don't Pacquiao won in what he won eight belts or was it an eight weight classes? He he's got something yep. where he's got eight of them. Yep. I think he's coming for that title. He's either oh, going to yeah. move up, he's going to go back, he's going to do something to do more. I mean, he had the fights against Triple G. I mean, really, he's. I mean, Floyd Mayweather is the only blemish on his record. I mean, I felt like he won. Well, (laughs) the draw against Triple G, that was actually a draw, which a lot of people thought that it wasn't. It was literally six rounds to six. Right. It was about as close as That's going to be a hard knockout. But, I mean, he he exhibited his chin in that fight. So we knew that there was nothing that Caleb Plant was going to do that he didn't feel when he fought against Triple G, and it showed. Canelo clearly has a good chin. He's a polished boxer, and ever since the Mayweather fight, he's been a different fighter. He actually fights similar to him ever since that fight. You know, that's really funny that you say that, too, because when you watch, if you look at some of the tape between the Canelo and the Floyd fight and then the Canelo and the Plant fight, Plant was kind of playing that little defensive scheme that Floyd did but you saw Canelo now as a, you know, as a mature boxer being able to, you know, capitalize on that and actually being able to make moves there. Mike, I totally agree with your comment here. Canelo has punching power while retrieving. It is unbelievable, the skill level. And you saw that a ton in this fight. Being able to essentially throw your energy one way, but being able to revert back to also land a counter shot potentially. Like, there's very few boxers, if any in the world, that can do that outside of King Canelo. So, again, hats off. Hell of a fight. I love to see it.